Hello, my friend. Welcome to my monthly favorites and fails countdown. It is my favorite video to do every month. I know I'm a low light beginning of December, but that doesn't negate my experience over November with all of the products I'm going to show you today. So if you're curious to know the worst product I tried this month, counting up all the way to the best product I tried this month, hang tight. We're getting into it right now. know what this was like who am I am I a magician like what what was that I don't even know but before we get into number 10 the worst product I tried this month let's go ahead and start off with my hashtag not sponsored feature and the reason why I do that I don't know what is up with me today <laughs> cheerio I do a hashtag not sponsored feature every month because I am constantly getting companies trying to strategically place their products in my favorites and fails countdown and pay me to do it. And I think that that's super weird. So in order to go against that, I tell you about a product that I have been loving that they did not pay me to tell you about. This month, I wanted to tell you about a very special store that is located near me. So I know this isn't going to be applicable to most of you, but if you happen to live in Maryland, I highly recommend you go check out Locally Crafted. It's in Gaithersburg, Maryland. And the concept behind it is that they sell products that are made by local makers. So they have jewelry and they have hats and they have soap and candles. They have popcorn and some food products, including my new company called Mad Marshmallows. It's our first time being in a store, so you can find Mad Marshmallows there. But beyond my own product, there are so many other things to purchase and makes great gifts. They have things for kids. They have things for pets. They have so many things. And every time you go in, it's a different experience because they're constantly bringing on new vendors and new people that are locally crafting things. If you are not in the area and you're not able to visit locally, locally crafted. I just want to encourage you this holiday season to support small business, buy from an Etsy shop, buy from another small business, and just support people that are trying to follow their dreams. I know I have recently been buying a lot on Etsy. Don't tell my oldest kid, but I bought them some earrings that I will show you on the screen. They love food themed earrings, so don't tell them. They don't watch my videos, so they won't know. But uh, I will also link some Etsy shops down below that sell these cute Cute little earrings. If you have bought something from someone that sells things locally to you, I would love to know what you're purchasing and maybe if it's available online, I'll purchase from that small business as well. So leave your favorite small businesses down in the comments down below so that we can all go check them out. And with that being said, let's go ahead and go into the worst product that I tried this month. I will tell you that I'm very, very fortunate that the purchases that I made this month, they were pretty successful. There's nothing that I'm gonna be showing you today that I dislike. More things that I was disappointed in, didn't really live up to my expectations, all the way up to things that absolutely blew me away. So let's start with the first one. And this makes me really sad. This is at number 10. This is the new Lisa Eldridge, Eldridge Seamless Skin Foundation. And I wanna stress, this is not a bad foundation. I'm wearing it today. It is nice, but I, honestly don't think that this is any better than my drugstore foundation. It's not any better than my CoverGirl foundation. And this makes me really sad because I was hoping this was going to be a replacement for my La Mer foundation, but honestly, the finish just isn't pretty on me. One thing I do want to mention though that I like about it is that it is, they call self-setting, meaning that you don't need any kind of powder, which is great and I do very much enjoy that. Another thing I love about this is the frosted bottle. I think it's an absolutely beautiful package. It doesn't stand up though. Like I wish that they had just flattened it out just a little bit so you could at least set it down. You know, they do give you like a little stand. Let me show you. It's almost like a jewelry box that they give you that you can put your foundation in to stand it up. But I don't, I, I, I'm gonna lose this. <laughs> I'm gonna be 100%. I'm gonna lose that. So that's that's just a little nitpick. But overall, my biggest thing with this is that the foundation itself just isn't fabulous. And I was just hoping for more of a soft focus finish. I have had it break up on me and it's just not my favorite, unfortunately. It makes me really sad because I love Lisa Eldridge. I have the utmost respect for her as a makeup artist, as a person. I love her lipstick formula. I just bought one of her lip glosses, uh, but this foundation just wasn't hit for me. Another thing that was not a hit for me, again, it's not bad. It's just, 
the Glossier Lip Gloss. And I don't know if you've tried this. This is just like the plain, clear, transparent gloss. I don't know what I was expecting, but it's just not, I mean, you don't get a lot <laughs> in there, first of all. It, it seems like it's very small, uh, and it's just a normal, typical gloss. It, I, I feel like it's the same as my Makeup Revolution glosses. Really, what you're paying for when you get this is the Glossier name. Let me just go ahead and put this on real quick, just so you can see the difference. I will tell you what's on my lips today uh, in just a little bit, but let me just show you what the gloss looks like. I mean, it's very shining. It's very pretty. It's not sticky at all. It feels really good, but it's just a gloss. And the thing is, is I don't know what I expected it to be. It's it's your traditional gloss. It's only low down because it's ordinary. It's good, it's fine. It's not sticky, it's not heavy. It's a good gloss. It's just, it's ordinary. So it has to be further down because I like everything else better. Oh my gosh, so many people are gonna be so mad at me for this next one. I, again, it's just fine. It's expensive and it's just fine. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm scared of you, okay. The Patrick Ta blush. <laughs> This isn't She's Seductive. It's a beautiful shade. I love a buildable blush. I think blushes should be buildable. You shouldn't be putting a blush on and have it just go straight to clown face. It should be buildable. But I feel like this one, it takes a really, really, really long time to build up and just a lot. I mean, I just feel like it needs just a, like, it's a little too buildable. It takes forever, which was probably really nice on people that are fairer than me, uh, but it's just kind of annoying to work with. <laughs> and I, I don't know if it's just mine or what because I've heard nothing but good things about these blushes and I don't know what's wrong with me that I'm not loving this. It's just fine. It, it's a beautiful shade. It's just, I don't know. The application is not stellar in my opinion. Lasting power isn't stellar either. Uh, it didn't last on me as long as I would expect for the price point. Uh, I want to say it was pretty faded by about the six hour mark, which I expect more from such an expensive product. So unfortunately, I won't be purchasing more of these. I am happy that I tried it. I'm happy I have this one, but I'm not going to be buying any more. If you're still here, because I know that's gonna really irritate people, but I can only be honest, that's the thing. I can only give you my opinion, I can only be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's the way I feel. And if you feel differently, it's totally okay. Maybe you can give me some tips on how to use it and how you like to use it, I just... Anyway, moving on, when I showed you this product before that I had purchased this, I kind of poo-pooed it, but the more I've used it, the more I've really liked it. This is the Glossier Multichrome in the shade Mist. Not Multichrome. <laughs> monochrome in the shade mist. I have this one on the outer corner of my eye today and this is the thing is it is what it is. <laughs> you can't make it be anything else. There is definitely a market for these and I think that if you're looking for a very simple eye look these monochromes may be perfect for you. They're pigmented, they work well, they blend well, they do everything they're supposed to do. The only thing I would say is that just it's just kind of boring for some people that really want a broad shade selection, all that, but that's not the target market for this. <laughs> I may purchase another one of these. I know I said before, I'm, I probably wouldn't. I may purchase another one if another shade calls out to me, and I am very much enjoying this. And the, I, like I said, the application is great. I love that they have the three different finishes in there so you can decide how much sparkle you wanna have. And it's just a good product. It's just not gonna be good for everybody because it's just not marketed at everybody. Everything so far has been purchased. This is the first thing that was sent to me in PR. This is by Hindash. This is his Butopsy palette, and I really like this. It is very makeup artisty. It's very Viseart. It's very like, old school Viseart. It's very old school Natasha Denona. It has that air of a makeup artist is going to love using this. It, it, the blend on this is freaking seamless. It is so easy to get this to blend on the eyes, on the face, anywhere you want to use it. They work very well together. They work very well with other shadows. And it's an absolutely beautiful product. I love the fade in between for each uh, pan. It's just so incredibly beautiful. My only complaint about this is it is so makeup artisty. As a non-makeup artist, I have a little bit of trouble figuring out how I personally want to use it. I have watched like five, six different tutorials from so many different people on how they use it, including Hindash. And I still like have trouble applying it to like my style of how I do makeup because I, I do my own like, 
you know, novice version of makeup. So, so it takes a little bit of thought, but maybe I'm overcomplicating it. <laughs> it's definitely possible I'm overcomplicating it, uh, but it is a really high quality product and I'm very much enjoying using it. It's just, it's taking me a little while to really get into it. This next product I actually had at number 10 until I used it today and then I bumped it up because <laughs> I was like, now that's pretty. This is the Danessa Myricks Vision Flush in the shade Tiara. It was sent in Ipsy, so I did not purchase this. I do not like this as an eyeshadow. I have tried this a couple of times. It creases on me every time. I've tried to just put on the teeniest, tiniest amount. I've tried building it up and it just creases. And I've tried setting it and that seems to make it worse because then the powder seems to be settling into the crease. It's just, it's just not good as an eyeshadow in my opinion. In. It's too oily. There's too much of a, a, of a, a slip to it. But what makes that good though is this is a beautiful highlighter. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. I also use it on my lips today and oh my gosh, I love it. So I'll show you in a minute what I have on my lips. But what I did was I tapped this right in the center. I'll do it again just so you can see. Let's see. I got to look in my, my monitor over here so you can see what I'm doing here. I just kind of tap it like that, ma, 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 and it just gives this beautiful, like, this little beautiful glow, and I freaking love it. I was like, yes, okay, all right, I'm convinced now. <laughs> I really, really like this now. I'm just not gonna be using it on my eyes. I'm gonna be using it on my cheeks and on my lips. It's just, do you see how it's not like shimmery? It just lightened everything and gave it a little bit of glow and made my lips just look juicier, just, oh, oh really enjoying this for that. Next product is a product that I have really been loving lately. I'm a big fan of blush palettes. I like to just grab a blush palette and then just pick from there. And it's rare that I find a blush palette that has a bunch of shades in it that I can use. Usually it's like maybe two out of them that I just use all the time and the rest just kind of sit around been really loving this. This is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Blush Aesthetic, and this was sent to me by Laura Lee Los Angeles, and I just freaking love these shades. These have been so wonderful for me. The only one that I feel like is a little bit off for my skin tone is the Strawberry Ice Cream shade. It's just a little too orange for me, but I, I mean, I can do it. It just kind of has to be the right look to go with it, but everything else has been really easy to use. Even this Sangria shade, if I I go in with a light hand, I can still use this one as well. I've also used this on my eyes as an eyeshadow palette. Laura had done that in her launch video. I did it for an episode of What's Up In Makeup and oh my gosh, it came out absolutely beautiful. And the thing that really set it off was the highlighter shade. It is so gorgeous. And in that video, I showed you that because I've been dipping my fingers in, I've been getting hard pans. So what I did was I took a piece of tape and I just pulled the hard pan off. It's basically where the oils from your finger make the powder solidify so it just doesn't pick up on the brush and it just kind of gets shiny and flat. I am going to use my finger and swatch it for you just so that you can see the shade because it is so beautiful and you can kind of start seeing where it's getting a little flat there. If I keep doing that it'll stop the product from picking up on my brush and I'll just take a little piece of tape and it's totally fine but it is something that I wish wasn't happening with the palette. It's kind of my only gripe with it but this shade is so freaking beautiful. Hopefully you can see it. Let me swatch it one more time. I know. I said I wasn't going to swatch it anymore, but it's for the good. It's for the greater good. All right. <laughs> this shade is so incredibly beautiful. It works really well on my cheeks, works really well in the inner corner of my eyes. If you're fairer than me, this may not work as a highlighter. You may be able to use it like as a blush mixer, kind of on the top of your cheeks with blush, and that might work. But it does look really pretty on my skin tone, and I would imagine it would look good on many, many, many skin tones. Uh, again, my favorite used for it though, inner corner of the eyes, just freaking perfect. At number three, I'm gonna put two products together because I couldn't choose which one that I like better. This whole collection, this coffee collection by Essence was sent to me by Angelica Nukvist, who was so kind. She was able to get it in Sweden and I was not able to get it here in the United States, so she shipped it to me and it was, I was so incredibly thankful. I got to try everything from the collection and this was my fave. This is the Coffee to Glow Highlighter Beans. Now, the only thing is, is it really 
really doesn't come with a whole lot of beans, but whatever. They're so freaking cute. They're adorable. And then she did purchase this as well. This is the scented makeup brush. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it literally smells like caramel coffee. It smells so good and it's the, the bristles, it's not the brush handle. So they do say that as you wash it, that the scent is going to go away and that's why it looks like this because I don't want to wash it. <laughs> I, I am going to need to wash it, but I don't want to, so I'm putting it off. Let me just show you the application of this is so incredibly beautiful. I think this is supposed to be like the Guerlain Meteorites. Uh, that's kind of the idea behind it, but it's little coffee beans and it's just so cute. And I don't know why it's not really showing up very well on my skin here, but it is showing up really well on my cheeks. So I've been using this because it is a little deep for me. I've been using this as more of like a blush topper kind of situation. So this is the shade on my skin tone. You can see that it is a little bit deep for me. I have used this on my eyes as well and it's really, really, pretty and it gives a very subtle glow. It's not like a from space bam highlighter. It just kind of sets off my blush in just a really beautiful way. It does have a bit of an orange tint so if you don't like that you probably don't want to get this uh, but I feel like it really does look beautiful over my blush and it is just so fun. I just I'm a big coffee person and it's just fun to have a little coffee and highlighter and thank you to Angie for sending this over and using this brush. If they don't make more scented brushes, I will cry because this is just, it's so nice. I mean, sometimes I'll forget and I'll start applying my highlighter and I'll be like, oh yeah, it smells really good. <laughs> and it's just been wonderful. Number two, the only reason why it's not number one is because I pretty much expected it to be awesome and I like to have number one be something that surprised me. So this is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette. I have been freaking loving this. It's been a while since I have loved a palette this much. Like it's it's been a minute since I have wanted to reach for a palette every single day. This has been it. And I have honestly haven't purchased a whole lot from Huda Beauty. Uh, there's been some things that I've tried that I really didn't like. So, I, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, man, I'll try it, you know, Sephora, 20% off, blah, blah, I'll get it. Well, it was 15% off for me, but I, I just kind of got it on a whim because I, I really wanted to try Huda Beauty eyeshadows again. It just had been a while and oh my gosh, am I so thankful that I did. This is just a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. It is so fun to play with. I love the range of shades that she put in here. The fact that there are some very deep shades, some nice mid-tone shades, some light shades. The duo chromes and multi-chromes in here are gorgeous. They're incredible. I love this sandy beach looking one called Self Love. That one's really fun to play with. I mean, really and truly, there's only this shade in here that I haven't quite figured out how to use because it's basically like a jelly topper almost. Like it just gives a little bit of shine to your lids and it's just kind of like, meh. like, I don't know. I guess I just don't appreciate it the way that some people appreciate it. You're just kind of like, Mer. but, um, but everything else I've really, really been loving. I actually use the shade Energized in my inner corner today along with that purple shade from the Glossier palette. And it's just so beautiful. It works well with other shadows. Lasting power is great. Blendability is great. I love the way the shadows play with each other and with shadows from other palettes. And it's just fantastic. And the packaging. The packaging is so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm so thankful to have this. I'm going to keep using this. At some, at some point, I'm gonna have to break away from it to use other palettes, but man, it is so fun. And then finally, at number one, da -da 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 it is a product that was sent to me in PR that I didn't expect to have any kind of attachment to. If you've been around for a while, you know I'm not a lip liner person. I don't really use lip liners. I have trouble getting into lip liners. A lot of them are very dry, very uncomfortable. They can be very sticky and just blah. Not this one. Okay, this one was sent to me by BK Beauty. This is their Everlast Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade Warm Spice. That's what's on my lips today. So this is, a, of course, very precise, which is kind of the point of a lip liner, is to get really precise around your lip line. And then it is not just precise, of course, but it is creamy and comfortable, almost like a liquid lipstick in the way that it dries down, but a little bit more comfortable 
comfortable than that. And that's what I love about it. I love that it is not too dry, but not too creamy. It is the perfect lip liner formula, in my opinion. I have paired this with lip glosses. I have paired it with lipsticks. I have put eyeshadow over top of it <laughs> to try to give it kind of a different look. And this thing is so versatile. It is wonderful. Uh, and they did send over quite a few of them and I've been enjoying every single one, every shade. They did a wonderful job picking out the shades. So thank you so much to BK Beauty for sending these over. I've also been enjoying the lipsticks, but I was so surprised how much I like this. That's why I put this in and not the lipsticks, but the lipsticks are fabulous too. Just very, just a good solid lipstick. You know what I mean? It's creamy, it's pigmented, but not too pigmented. It gives a nice, beautiful color on the lips without looking overdone. I mean, the lipsticks are great too, but I, this one just surprised me. And that's why I included it. That's why it's at number one. At this point, my friend, it is your turn in the collective brain of makeup awesomeness where we help each other not to buy crap and to buy things that are totally worth it. I would love to know your thoughts on any of the products that I talked about today. Even if you disagree with me, I would love to know what you like and don't like about these products. If there's things that you've been loving this month or really not loving this month, I would love to know those as well so I can either stay away from them or possibly purchase them for a future video. So leave your thoughts on any new products you've been trying down in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help me out a lot. It tells YouTube that it's a good video and to share it with other people, so that really helps me. If you would like to hang out a little bit longer because you did enjoy this video so much, YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos for you right over there to watch. But if it is your time to go, it is no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. And that love to you. And I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.